This question is very obviously plug points into equations. So the, the challenge is we have just one equation and it's an inequality, but we have lots of points because we have all these answer choices. But it doesn't really matter, just pick one to start. Let's just start with A because it lets me zoom in and just pick a point and test it, right? So let's, let's test this first point. What would that mean? 21 is greater than 13 times three minus 18. Okay, well, we got our calculator, so let's see. 13 times three minus 18, or sorry, 13 times three is 39, um, and then minus 18 is 21. So this is saying 21 is greater than 21. No, that's not true because, remember, it's not, a, it's not a greater than or equal to symbol. There's no bar underneath. It's just the greater than symbol. So this is just wrong. So I don't need to check the other points in this choice. Um, I can go on to any other here. I guess I'm going to do the 26. Let's just keep going in order. So uh, I would have 26 is greater than 13 times 3 minus 18. So 39, this, is, this hasn't changed. Now it's 26 is greater than uh, uh, 21, right? 13 times 3 minus 18 is still the same. So that seems good. I guess at this point I would try... I mean, it's so easy to see why C is wrong because 16 is not greater than 21, so that gets rid of that. But choice D also has 26 is greater than 21, so that checks out. So really at this point, I'm just looking at the other parts of B and D and seeing where I want to go. I guess I can just go to the 5 part, so let's do that. Um, so that would be 42 is greater than 13 times 5 minus 18. So 13 times 5 is handy, you know, normal calculator. Uh, 13 times 5 is 65, minus 18 is 47. So this is saying 42 is greater than 47. That's not true, so B can't be right. 52 is greater than 47, so that's a good sign. It would be enough for me to pick it. I guess I could try the last part, but at this point, I've proven everything else wrong, so I'm very confident that D has to be the answer. Don't do more work than you need to. But notice how quickly I got into the strategy here. That's really crucial. A lot of people are gonna be overwhelmed by this. You can't let that happen. You need to be able to look at a question and very quickly know if you have points and equations because that's the way to solve so many SAT questions.